So over the years on this channel, I've come across drawings that I've done when I was younger, a kid and a teenager and things like that, and shared them on this channel. And there's some, there's been se several drawings over the years that I've spoken about that, uh, well, one in particular that I've spoken about, which, but I never knew where the hell it was. I'm delighted to, uh, to come at you with the news that I recently discovered some notebooks and stuff where I did some drawings probably when I was 11 years old. I'm going to share some of those with you today, some of the drawings. And one of them is one of the drawings that I've brought, you know, talked about several times over the last several years. And uh, when I get to it, I'll, I will uh, say which one it is. But uh, to start out the showcasing of drawings that I did when I was 11 years old, we've got uh, kind of a montage here of uh, the original War of the Worlds, which I was a big fan of ever since I was a kid, maybe 9, 10, or 11 years old. I'm not exactly sure when I first saw the original film, but uh, I still love it to this day. The original War of the Worlds is really, really great sci-fi, and this is a shot of basically a war machine and also a close-up of its ray gun shooting off its flame there. This is I probably did when I was 11 years old in color to boot, so this is... Uh, from a recently found notebook that I just found recently. Coming at you to showcase that. It's really kind of cool, and, and, you know, very few of my drawings are in color, but, you know, at the time, I was just like, I, you know, I don't think I ever did any War of the Worlds drawings that were in black and white because color for me was such a huge part of the movie, like, you know, with the war machine with the gray pieces, you know, the, the both ends in the center there and the the orange ray and stuff like that. So this is one of, uh, you know, two or three War of the Worlds drawings that I did when I was 11 years old. Turning the page here, we've got uh, 2001, a Space Odyssey-inspired image. It's kind of blending two things together, like the, uh, you know, quote-unquote, you know, reality of what was supposedly going on with NASA and the like in the 80s and stuff with the space shuttle. I was a big space geek in the 80s and saw movies like Space Camp and things like that in the theater and had a picture on the wall of a space shuttle and so I was all big into space. I, I saw 2001 A Space Odyssey when I was a kid and was really big into space and this is kind of a 2001 A Space Odyssey inspired picture of a front of a space shuttle, some guy upside down waving to some guy in the cockpit there. Just a random ass frickin' drawing by most likely most likely 11-year-old me. Turning the page, we've got what might very well be the very first drawing I ever did of Jason Voorhees' hockey mask. This is right around the time when I was just starting to get into Friday the 13th. This is probably before I'd seen any of the films at this point, obviously, and, and not really knowing much about what the, the hockey mask looked like at this point, if you couldn't tell. This is just the basic idea of what I thought the hockey mask looked like in 11-year-old Nate drawing this before I'd seen any of the films whatsoever and hadn't seen many images of, you know, Jason or the hockey mask at this point, as can be evidenced by this drawing, obviously. Pretty, pretty hilarious stuff going on. I, it's funny how I made the the actual eyes of the hockey mask evil. So very well might be the very first drawing of a hockey mask, you know, from Friday the 13th that I ever did right here. <clears throat> Turning the page of this is the picture that I've spoken about many a time in the last several years, and I didn't know where the hell it was. Here it is, in the flesh, frickin' final chapter. This might also be, 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 this might also be before I'd seen any of the films, but obviously I'd seen the final chapter cover art in the video store, and uh, this is the infamous drawing that at some point, you know, as a kid I hated school and I hated doing schoolwork, so I really didn't do it if I could help it. And as a result, my parents thought there was something wrong with me because I didn't want to do worthless, boring, you know, pointless schoolwork. So they brought me to a counselor and they're like, well, we might as well bring some of the drawings. You know, my parents are probably worried about these horror drawings as well. Bring the, you know, the notebook of drawings to the counselor. I can remember sitting, being 11 or 12 years old and sitting in this room with this female counselor, you know, quote unquote counselor and showing her this. And she's like, so what are you thinking about when you're drawing these? And it's just like, I can't remember what my answer was, but what would she expect me to hear? Like, I hate fucking hockey. You know, I hate Wayne Gretzky. I mean, what did she want to hear? But uh, little did she know that this is a, you know, a cover art for a video cassette basically featured in every video store in North America and possibly even more in other countries. It, someone got paid 
to do artwork very similar to this, so I was just replicating the artwork that I saw in a video store, and here she's thinking I'm just kind of coming, she's probably thinking I'm just coming up with these images on my own, just die Wayne Gretzky or whatever the hell she was thinking, but, uh, you know, it's funny how you can see there's, like, the knife handle. I actually, like, uh, erased what I originally had and made another one more angled with the blade. I guess the Looks like the handle wasn't in the same angle as the blade there, so I, I erased it and redid the the knife handle. But taking a closer look at this infamous drawing here, re erased knife handle and redone, and it looks like even like the holes in the top of the hockey mask were erased and, and redone. Or And look at how I put the, the slice in the hockey mask on the bottom of the hockey mask. So it's kind of like I had a vague idea of what the final chapter box art looked like, but I couldn't remember exactly as is evidenced very, very much here. And, uh, the, you know, so the ax marks in the bottom of it versus the forehead, you can see there there's a pool of blood there that the hockey mask is sitting in. So I got that part right. But this is absolutely hilarious to me. And I love how I put a nose on the hockey mask. But I, as you can see, the eyes are are evil in this rendition as well. So finally, after years of talking about it, here is my final chapter just by memory, 11-year-old, most likely 11-year-old or 12-year-old drawing of the what I could recollect just by memory of the final chapter, Hockey Mask, probably before I saw you know any of the films, definitely probably before I saw a final chapter, otherwise the ax mark would be where it belongs versus where I put it here. Here is uh, obviously when I was 11 and 12 years old, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon started. So here is my, uh, I always was pretty good at drawing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's a drawing that I did probably when I was 11 or 12 of one of the turtles. So back in the late 80s, I want to say it was 88, they did this TV special, that which was like live action, a combination of live action and uh, then animation drew over it kind of a peanut special or a charlie it wasn't charlie brown because it was really weird i want to say charles schultz's daughter was the main like one of the main stars in it she was kind of quote unquote young and attractive at the time or whatever and i want to say that she was featured in it in possibly woodstock and snoopy i don't think any other characters but like woodstock and snoopy were in it but it was like i think in the desert you know probably california i would imagine or arizona or something like that i haven't seen this thing for the longest time i remember even at the age of 11 not thinking too much of it at the time but uh i, I know that you know I, i'm pretty sure it was charles schultz's daughter or, or someone who was in it or granddaughter i'm not exactly sure but it seemed like it was just a vehicle to parade around the granddaughter or the daughter or whoever the hell she was in the show but I want to say that I drew this picture based on something that was in that, that you know, made-for-TV special thingy or whatever. Frickin' Snoopy sitting on the ground next to a cactus where he's made a home. I don't frickin' claim to know what the hell's going on here. But um, for the last drawing in this notebook, we've got a famous image here of Snoopy doing his, you know, dance nose up and, you know, legs going crazy on his freaking dance by the piano. I, I guess I was too lazy to draw Schroeder playing the piano. This, I, you know, I, <laughs> it's just the piano there and Snoopy dancing by the piano. But that'll do it for this uh, notebook of, of drawings. There are other uh, notebooks that I found, maybe one or two other notebooks in addition to, you know, some just loose drawings and stuff that I recently found that I will be stopping on by and show, showing you as well. So hope you guys look forward to that. If not, that's understandable. <laughs> These are not exactly the most amazing drawings in the world. So, but uh, yeah, it was really cool to definitely, or definitely really cool to find that hockey mask final chapter one after all these years and finally been able to showcase it for you guys. So I guess that does it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next video.